Tonight on the 10 o'clock news, a closer look at the moments leading up to a stabbing that left the local team paralyzed from the chest down. This surveillance video from Mr. Chubby's Wings was just released hours ago. The attack happened last month. The St. Johns County Sheriff's Office saying that the victims in this case are aware of the release and they have viewed this video. News for Jack's reporter Khalil Macon joining us live tonight. Khalil, you spoke with one of the people who actually saw this attack. I did. I spoke to James Stepp, and in the video you're about to watch, you see him and his friend run towards the attack that happened in this parking lot. And he says watching the video from the beginning gave him a different perspective, and he says helped him put some closure to what he was wondering. This is video from Mr. Chubby's wings in Ponte Vedra from June 3rd. It's the day 17 year old Madison Shemitz was stabbed outside of the restaurant more than a dozen times. According to investigators, it was at the hands of her ex boyfriend and left her paralyzed from the chest down. According to a witness of the attack, this is her ex boyfriend, Spencer Pearson, who's facing attempted murder charges walking in. You can see him walking around the restaurant. At one point, he walks not too far from where the 17 17 year old and her mother are seated. Then you see him sit down. A few minutes later, Madison and her mother get up and leave. You see Pearson look towards the direction of the door, wait a bit, then exit too. This camera from outside of the restaurant shows the moments Pearson runs up to the 17 year old and her mother. A struggle then happens in front of the vehicle. Then you see Kennedy Armstrong and James Stepp running towards the attack. Armstrong jumps in to break it up while Stepp, who's in the black shorts, calls police. That was a little a little chilling to see when he, he rushed out the door and then eventually ended up attacking her. Stepp says he saw the surveillance video Wednesday. He says the video is infuriating, but also helps him get a better understanding of the situation. In the moment, you, it's based off so much adrenaline and action. So actually getting a chance to see it from the outside perspective was definitely a little different. Madison's mom and Armstrong were also injured during the attack. And Stepp says the one thing he wants people to take away from this attack is to always help if you can. If anyone saw something like this happen, I would just pray that they would step up and do the right thing. And Step says if you do jump into a situation like this, it's always best to try and be as safe as possible. And coming up at 11, I speak with a former officer about how this video could be used if or when this case goes to court. Reporting live, Cleo Maycock, Channel 4, The Local Station. Thank you, Cleo.